If you want to develop a device which has a visually compelling user interface, you need a graphics library. I will pivot around LVGL graphics library in this episode. Because from now on, Napto has LVGL graphics library officially supported. My name is Branko and welcome to another episode about Napto. How exactly do you design with LVGL from within Nacto? Good question. If you want to design with LVGL, you need to create a designer project. Without further ado, I will click on new and I will select this type of a project, LVGL designer type of project. Not to be confused with plain designer, which is meant to work with Micri's graphics library implementation. So I selected LVGL designer for utilizing LVGL graphics library implementation. Okay, another important thing is setup because i already have hardware setup in front of me i will click on new to start creating this setup inside necto i have a st mic controller in front of me so i can select gcc for arm then my development board i just showed you then the microcontroller which will hold the code and the crucial thing dft display device i will click on this one programming device had been automatically selected and i'm done from now on, you're able to design with LVGL. Now let's design. There are two ways of designing user interfaces. By using graphical environment, basically drag and drop LVGL objects to the screen. That is the first method. The second method, coding it out. I will start to light and use the first option for now, graphical environment. We call that graphical environment the LBGL designer. I will apply one of the simplest graphical examples out there, basically placing a text label on the screen. On the right hand side, there are a lot of components, objects you can use in your graphical based application. I will select label object and I will place it on the improvised screen, which has the same dimensions as the TFT board to be selected in the setup section. And I will replace this generic text. After flashing the code, this is the result that was quick and simple. Of course, this is no magic by any means. Code for this object, code for this text label had been generated by the Necto in the background. If you want to explore what code had been automatically generated after applying the text label object from the designer, you will jump into main screen header file, then apply right click on the screen main screen header file and go to definition. And finally, perform the right click once again on this file and choose switch header source. Here it is. Here is the under the hood code which had been generated after text label had been applied in the designer. The first line, basically creating a new object in the LVGL framework with no parent, which means this object is a top level object, a screen. Now, after this line of code, some cosmetic settings had been applied to a screen. Then we are creating a text label and applying some cosmetic settings to it as well. Let's do the second option, coding out the graphics application by ourselves without the generated code in the background. I will search LBGL's official website to find one of the simplest examples. Then I will apply it into the Necto LBGL designer project. As you could imagine, Hello World is one of the simplest LBGL's examples. I'll copy this code, then switch to Necto, then paste it, let's say over here. Okay, perfect. What does this code do? Changing background color of the active screen, then creating a label with a simple string in it, give it a color and finally center it. Basically the same example like the previous one. Now what's left is the top level object for the current screen. There are two ways of dealing with this situation. Create new object or use the existing one because Necto already generated top level object for the current screen. Let's do the first one. We need an object and it is going to be of a pointer type. It is going to be with no parent, which means this object is a top level object, a screen, and we are going to utilize it in all of the following methods. Finally, we want to load the screen. After flashing the code, this is the result. So this is all being done with the new instance of LVGL object. Now let's use already made object created for this screen, the main screen. I'll jump into sources folder, then I'll open main screen.c file and here it is. Instance of main screen user interface in which we have LVGL object. If we return to main screen.c file, there is already an example of how we can use this object. Okay, let's copy it and return to main.c file, replace the code, flash it once again, and let's check the result. Okay, perfect. Now I showed you two possible ways of generating graphical application. Once again, you can do this via Nectar's design feature and you can do it by coding it out. Whether you are working on a smart home device, 
industrial cultural system or any embedded application, LBGL's ease of integration make it a compelling solution. From now on, Nacto could be an option for you. Nacto could be an ID with which you will be able to develop GUI apps because LBGL libraries officially support it. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys with the next one.